we're now going to talk about how we evaluate sums. And so we're going to start with a simple case. Suppose we have the summation of k equals 0 to 3 of minus 1 to the k times k factorial. Well, this simply means that we're going to start at 0 and we're going to go up to 3. So that a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3, where a n is equal to minus 1 to the n times n factorial. So I just made this my general form. And I can skip this step and jump straight to this one. This term is minus 1 to the 0 times 0 factorial. Then we're going to add to that this term, which is minus 1 to the 1, times 1 factorial. Add to that minus 1 squared times 2 factorial. And add to that the last one minus 1 to the third plus 3 factorial. And when we evaluate all these, anything to the 0 is 1 and 0 factorial, so this becomes 1 times 1 plus minus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 times 1, which we don't need to worry about, plus minus 1 times 3 times 2 Multiply all this out, gives me a positive 1 plus a negative 1 plus a positive 2 minus a 6. That adds to 0, and so my answer is negative 4. The f from 0 to 3, these four terms add up to negative 4. Let's look at another one. Let's jump into the sum of j equals 4 to 7. So we're going from a lower bound of 4 to an upper bound of 7 of 2j squared minus 1. So our first one is going to be 2 times 4 squared minus 1. Then we're going to add to that 2 times 5 squared minus 1. Add to that 2 times 6 squared minus 1. And finally, the last one that we're going to get is 2 times 7 squared minus 1. And I have to stop here because I'm at 7. So I have to include both the 4 and the 7. But the 4 tells me where I start. The 7 tells me where I end. So I'm going to type this into my calculator. 2 times 4 squared minus 1 plus 2 times 5 squared minus 1 plus 2 times 6 squared minus 1 plus 2 times 7 squared minus 1 equals. And the sum of, of the terms from a4 to a7 is equal to 248. And so that's how we evaluate sums. Start at the beginning at the lower bound, increase by 1 each time until you get to the upper bound, and then just evaluate and add together all of your results.